Hi, welcome to today's video. I hope that you're having a fantastic day. I am so excited because today I'm gonna to be showing you how to get this super, super, super easy, very simple, like completely foolproof, soft, everyday smoky eye. This is an all matte smoky eye. It's just a look that looks so sophisticated, but takes like zero effort, which to me is the perfect combination. So this eye look is so easy to get. It is flattering on everyone. It's gonna look good on everyone, no matter your eye shape, whatever you've got going on, it's going to look flattering on you. It's gonna be easy to achieve. And you can wear it with a nude lip like I've got going on. You can put it with a pink, you can put it with a red, a berry. You can go with whatever lip tone you wanna go with. If you wanna go with something like this for just like every day, you can do so. If you're gonna wear it for like a holiday or an evening out, Put it with a red lip or a deeper lip. You can do that. It's just a super easy technique to have in your repertoire, if you will. I'm being fancy because this eye look has me feeling fancy. Before we get into the tutorial, if you will double check, make sure that you're subscribed. It makes me really happy inside. I don't mean that in a creepy way. I'm just a cancer and I'm very sentimental and it genuinely makes me happy when someone joins our little YouTube family that we've got going on here. All right, let's go back in time to before I put this makeup on my face and I will show you how we get this look. So I'm starting out with most of my base done. I've already used my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk hydrating primer, which I really, really like. It's such a good formula. I'm enjoying it a lot. And for foundation, I use the Estee Lauder Futurist Hydro Rescue. I am in the shade 2N1 Desert Beige. I also went ahead and did brows. I used the Dior Brow Styler and the 24 Hour Brow Setter from Benefit. And I put a little bit of NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer on my lids just so that I have something down to kind of prime them. So as promised, this is literally the easiest thing ever. So what you're gonna do is take whatever bronzer you're gonna be using that day. So today I'm gonna be using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. I use the shade number two. And I'm gonna get a like fluffy blending brush. This is a MAC 217. Pick a little bit of that up. And I'm gonna go from lash line and blend it up into my crease like I would like a transition shade. Now it's up to you how high you wanna blend this. I like to go above the crease. I don't go like up onto like my, my actual brow bone, but I go pretty far up. I like it just to be, like I said, this is a very hazy look and I absolutely love that about it. So there we go, that's set. So that's our first shade done. And I'm gonna do the other eye. Just making sure these are even because sometimes I feel like this eye is always darker than this one. That's the first shade done, our base is done. Now we're gonna go in with a cream shadow, like a dark brown. I'm gonna be using Bobbi Brown Arc. <laughs> I don't know why, I just now realize, like I've thought of this shade of like, you know, it's obviously talking about like tree bark, but I don't know why when I just went to say bark, I thought of like a dog and I was like, wait a minute, that can't be right, but it is right. So you'll see this is like a nice deep brown shade. Next. So I'm gonna take this and basically go along my lash line, like a thick, almost like a thick liner. And you don't have to be like very precise cause we're just gonna blend it out. You can see right there. Do, do, do. Just try to make sure that you get it, you know, close to the lash line or you're gonna have a gap and it's gonna look kind of weird. All right, so now I'm gonna take the same MAC 217 brush, whatever blendy brush you're using, and just start to blend this shadow. Now, I kind of do this like gradually. So like I start with my brush really low, close to my lash line and blend, blend, blend. And then I slowly move up a little bit, but I don't take this shadow like, into my crease. I go like right up to the crease and that's about where I stop. So just gradually moving up a little bit more and a little bit more as I get it more blended and it starts to look more smoky, hazy. Like you can already see how like hazy and pretty that is. And the key with this is just blending. That's really all there is to this. 
Now you can use other cream shadows. Laura Mercier caviar sticks are really good. I've tried the Kiko cream shadow sticks. Just make sure that whatever it is that you're using is creamy enough that you have time to blend it. You don't wanna use a cream shadow that like dries really super quick because then you're not gonna have the time you need to get everything blended and that will be a real pain. So then I just look, see right here, it's not quite as blended as I want it. So I'll just kind of focus right there. I do kind of like pat and pull motions when I'm blending these, just because that's the easiest way to keep it concentrated where I want it. But again, this is such a simple, I mean, seriously, this is so simple and easy to do. There's not like a lot of like super professional technique behind this. And now that there's like nothing left on this brush, I'm gonna go in and kind of do just like a windshield wiper motion, you know, that old classic, uh, right in my crease, just to make sure that everything does look blended. At this point, I basically blended so much that there's really nothing left to like pull up there. So this really, this stuff is just blending more than it is moving color up there. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So as you can see, it's very soft, hazy, very gradient, so foolproof. Now, if you wanna like draw it up a little bit more, you can go back and do the same thing again. Just use that cream shadow to make kind of that line and then blend up again. And that'll just kind of keep deepening it up and deepening it up. For me, this is like where I like it. It's soft. It feels like I can wear this every day. I don't feel like it's too dramatic, but it still feels like, I don't know, very, mm. So now I'm just gonna take an angled liner brush and I'm gonna pick up some of this cream shadow and I'm gonna line my top lash line. With I mean, I keep this super tight to the lash line and I really just kind of like press it in at the lash line. I just wanna make sure my lash line looks a little bit thicker. So you can see the difference. This lash line just looks a little bit thicker than this one. So now I'm gonna take like a chocolate brown eyeliner. This is Barbara Lowe Brown from Charlotte Tilbury. It's a nice deep espresso brown. You'll see it's just a little bit darker than the bark shadow that we use. I'm gonna line my upper waterline. Now before I smoke out my lower lash line or do anything with that, I do like to put on my under eye concealer. So I'm gonna use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and just get my under eye concealer going. This is like a new way I'm trying to do my liner because I saw someone else do it this way and it looked really nice. So now I'm trying it. <laughs> they put a little bit here and a little bit here and kind of blended them together and it ended up being like the perfect amount. So now I'm trying to see if that technique is gonna work for me. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and also set my under eye. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder and a barely damp sponge. All right, now to round out the eyes, I'm going to take a pencil brush and pick up some of the bronzer that I used, and I'm going to smudge along my lower lash line. So now I'm gonna take the liner that we used on the top waterline and I'm gonna use it on my lower lash waterline as well. So once I do that waterline, I like to go back in with my pencil brush. I don't pick up anything else and I just smudge just to kind of like soften everything back up and finish everything out. To finish up the eyes, I'm just gonna brush out my lash extensions with a clean spoolie and put on some lower lash mascara and then we're gonna get some bronzer on the rest of my face because I look so washed out without it. So I'm gonna lighten up the center of my face with a little bit of concealer because I wouldn't be me if I didn't do that. Again, just using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And today I'm actually using a concealer brush, which is not something I always do. This is a Sephora Collection Pro brush. This is number 57. All right, for my face, I am gonna lightly powder. I don't wanna look like too dewy when I have like an all matte smoky eye going on. I think it's 
just looks a little like lopsided. I definitely don't want a matte face. I just don't want it to be too dewy. So I'm just tapping on like a very light layer of my Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder from Charlotte Tilbury because I love Charlotte so much. All right, so now for the step that's gonna like pull everything together, the bronzer. So using the same bronzer I use for my eyes, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. I'm just gonna bronze the outside of my face. I'm not contouring with this because I feel like if I contour with a smoky eye, even though this is like a very soft smoky eye, it just kind of takes the look from being like soft and everyday to kind of being like, we're going out, we're going somewhere. You know what I'm saying? So rather than do any like actual like contouring specifically, I'm just using this bronzer to give my say. So rather than doing like any like specific contouring, I'm just using this bronzer to warm up my face, go around the perimeter of my face, and also just add a little bit of shape here at the cheekbones. And of course, getting some on the sides of the nose so that my nose doesn't like completely disappear under there. All right, for blush, I'm gonna go in with this Mineral Fusion blush. This is the color Creation. I actually saw Alexa Blake use this on her channel and I immediately ordered it from Amazon because it's just so, it's so beautiful. It's like, it's like a tawny kind of rose color. It just looked so gorgeous in her video. And I was like, okay, I have to have that. So I'm gonna put on a little bit of blush. For this, I'm using my favorite blush brush. Honestly, you guys, I have three of these. This is the uh, It Cosmetics number 227. I love this brush so much much it's such a good like multi-purpose brush you can use it for blush you can use it like if you want to like use your bronzer to like contour but you can use it for that you can even use it for highlight like it's just a really good brush i have to pause every time i say brush or blush as i'm filming because i always get the two switched so I don't know why I get so tongue tied, but I do. So I apply this here and I always go up above my brow, almost always. I just like the way that that looks and I like to take a little bit and tap it on my nose just to give myself a little bit more color to my face. Now for lipstick, I'm gonna be using this Victoria Beckham, oof, I can get it open, lipstick. This is the color Sway, oh my gosh. No, I don't want Sway, I want Pose. Ah! Hold on, I picked the wrong, this is not the color I want. This is very pretty, but it's a little more like rose pinky than I want. I want something a little bit more muted. All right, disaster averted. We have found the color pose, which is the one I wanted from Victoria Beckham. I'll show you this. It's just like such a beautiful, like neutral rose brown. I absolutely love that. I, oh my God, the first time, I thought this would be my least favorite color that I picked up and it has become my favorite color of the three that I got from this collection. And these lipsticks are just, oh my God, so, so beautiful, so creamy, such a lovely formula. Victoria Beckham is amazing. That's it, Posh Spice is amazing. So I didn't go in with lip liner or anything. I just went straight on with this. You can see it's such a nice finish. I love that it's a little bit shinier than like just a like pure satin. It's just such a beautiful finish and I think it looks so sophisticated with a nice smoky eye. It's just, oh my gosh, perfection. So to finish this look out, I'm not gonna use any highlighter or anything like that because I feel like the hydrating primer as well as the you know more dewy foundation that I used gave me like a good skin glow. I feel like this looks very skin-like. It's not matte, which I just don't go for matte skin, but this is very like skin satin-like. I feel like there's enough of a glow without being really dewy per se. And I think that just goes really well. It balances out the matte smoky eye that we've got going on. So everything is just so soft. I love it the way it is. I am gonna set with a setting spray. I'm gonna use the Rare Beauty, always an optimist one. And if you're wondering why my hair has so much volume, this is all the Dyson Airwrap. I'm not kidding, there is no, I didn't use a curling iron, nothing. This is the Dyson Airwrap. That video will be coming, I think the first Monday in November. You should be seeing that video on my full review. I'm gonna show you how I use it. It's going well, obviously, because this is just, I mean, that's some bounce, you guys. That's some bounce. All right, this look is done. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. 
Again, this is just like the easiest, soft, everyday smoky eye you could ever have. I mean, this also looks great to go out. You could throw on a red lip, a berry lip with this. It's just a super, super simple look to have I mean, in your repertoire, I guess. I hope that you enjoyed this look. Let me know in the comments below, would you like to see more quick tutorials like this? This was really fun for me to film. I love the way that the makeup turned out and I just think this is such a good go-to look. So I would love to film more videos like this. I thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me today. I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, as always, you can chat with me in the comments below or over on Instagram. You take care of yourself. Bye.